Hey, welcome again, or welcome for the first time to the channel. Today, I'll be talking about a keyboard, so without wasting any time, let's get straight into the video. Here is what I believe needs to be good in order to make a good keyboard. Number one, the feeling. Number two, the sound. Number three, the performance. And number four, the value. I will be using these four features of a keyboard to explain why this keyboard that you are seeing on screen is the best you can get for gaming right now. The keynote upon you may have recognized that the keyboard I'm going to be talking about today is the Wooting 60 HE+. To clarify something quite simple, the difference between the HE and the HE Plus is that there are holes for you to put in screw and stabilizers which the standard HE doesn't have but other than that they are completely the same keyboard. So to give you a short description of this keyboard before I start breaking it down into these four main features, the Wooting 60 HE Plus as many of you may have guessed from the name is a 60% keyboard which means that it is 60% the size of a full keyboard. So it lacks the function row of keys, the numpad and most notably the arrow keys. However these last keys can still be accessed by holding the FN key and binding any of the other keys to a certain key of your choice. The reduction in size between this and a full size keyboard is very, very drastic. The first time you see a 60% keyboard you'll probably think it is tiny, but it is exactly this compact size that makes it perfect for gaming since you need a lot of space for the mouse movements. So having a long keyboard will reduce the space available and you may end up hitting the side of your keyboard. And so the 60% layout fixes the issue by keeping only the most used keys in order to reduce its size by a healthy amount, allowing for that large amount of extra space to be freed up for you to hit those crazy flicks. There have been an absurd amount of 60% keyboards flooding the market for years now. I personally started my journey with the Ampro 2 by Obin's Lab, which by today's standard is a very common 60% style of keyboard, rocking Cherry MX Red switches. However, many want to claim the title of being the best for gaming purposes, and that can be seen by the vast amount of 60% keyboards in the market, ranging from cheap mechanical keyboards that you can find on Amazon to the gaming specific keyboards made by the likes of Logitech, Asus and other well-known brands, as well as there being some very expensive options too. And I don't say expensive lightly, I'm talking upwards of $400, $500 or even more. All these keyboards will have varying mechanical switches from the common Cherry MX line or even custom ones such as the Gatoron Lecker switch that can be found in the Wooten which is an amazing little switch, but more on that later. So, it is safe to say that there are a lot of options for you to choose from, and your choice will ultimately depend on your budget. However, there are some keyboards which are definitely worth the price, and others maybe not. Today's main star from Wooting fits in the mid-range segment of the keyboard market, if we go based on price. So now that I have explained some of the key pieces of information, let's begin breaking down why the Wooting 60 HE Plus is the best keyboard for gaming. Before I get into breaking things down, I want to quickly remind you that I do indeed have a Discord server that you could join which has many topics that you will be able to talk about and make friends with other members. There is a link in the description if you are interested. Arguably one of the most important aspects of a mechanical keyboard is the feeling when you're pressing down a key. And you know what would feel really good right now? If you press that subscribe button and press a like on this video. On Social Blade it estimates that it will take me at least another year to reach a thousand subscribers. But how about we prove them wrong? Let's try and get to a thousand subscribers within six months, which I know we can do. So make sure to get subscribed. But now I'll tell you more about mechanical switches. Mechanical switches usually fit into two main segments. You have the linear switches which have an equal pressure with no interruption from the beginning to the end of the key press. And then we have tactile switches which have a slight bump during the key press, which can be hard to explain if you have never tried a tactile switch. However, imagine it a bit like popping soft bubble wrap with each press. It gives you a slight feedback which many find desirable. Our Wooting fits in the linear switch segment. More specifically, it is an optical switch with a Hall effect sensor. Put simply, an optical switch does not have all the components that a common mechanical switch has and will have a lower input latency. Now you're probably asking yourself what on earth is a Hall effect sensor? Well, your traditional switch such as a Cherry MX, Gateron and the majority of switches out there work such that when you press on the key there is a fixed activation point where the switch will register an input. For example, on the Cherry MX red switch this activation point is 2mm, so for that switch to be registered as pressing you need to push down the key at least 2mm before an input is registered. This is an oversimplification of how a switch works, but it is enough to make you understand how it does so. And now you may be wondering, how does a Hall effect switch work differently? Well, they have a small magnet inside the switch which can measure the distance between it and the bottom of the switch. Because it can measure this, it allows you to set a custom activation point. So, for example, if you want the switch to activate only if you press all the way down, you can do so. Or, if you want it to activate as quickly as possible, then you can set it to something like 0.1mm, so that there is virtually no travel when you press a key, and it being 
being registered as an input. This switch technology is the core of our Wooten keyboard and is one of the main reasons why I think it really is the best keyboard you can get for gaming, but I will dive deeper into the performance chapter. For now, let's remain on the feeling. Personally, it is a very nice keyboard to type on and game on. It feels extremely smooth to type on and keyboard enthusiasts would describe it as creamy. When I type on this keyboard, I get a flow which I never got with other keyboards. It is so nice and smooth which is hard for me to convey with words, but it is truly something you need to experience for yourself if you can. This feeling is not exclusive to the Wooting however, nor is it new because of the Wooting. In fact, there are many creamy and smooth feeling switches on the market which you could buy including the Aqua King, WS Mirandi and many others. Let's move on to talk about the sound of this keyboard. As I described before, the creamy and smooth feeling is aided by the sound that the keyboard resonates with after each key press. The keyboard's sound profile is exceptionally creamy and fucky, which will be two buzzwords that keyboard enthusiasts love to hear a keyboard be described as sounding. For those of you lucky enough to not have delved into the world of custom keyboards or high-end mechanical keyboards, fuck is a term used to describe when the key presses from a keyboard sound smooth and muted with each key press flowing seamlessly into the next, complemented by a deep thud that echoes satisfyingly beneath your fingers. If what I just said went into one ear and left from the other, here is a perfect demonstration of what Fox sounds like. Be warned, you may never want to go back to a normal sounding switch. That sounded amazing, didn't it? And trust me, in person, it is even better. The keyboard you see in the video is the very rooting I am talking about today, and you may understand just from that why I am praising the sound so much. If you are only used to non-loop cherry mech switches or similar, then you may be able to tell a distinct difference. Gone is the clacking and pinginess of each keystroke, and welcome is this smooth, deep, muted flow that follows each key press. This is a very desirable sound and I am sure you can understand why now. For me, the Focky sound is perfect and exactly what I am looking for with the sound of a keyboard. As you can imagine, I absolutely despise the screeching of Cherry Mex blue switches that can wake up an entire neighborhood at 3 in the morning. It is truly nightmare fuel and I cannot use a keyboard with those loud clicky switches. But hey, that's just preference, maybe you love being hated by your entire neighbourhood because of your sleep deprivation inducing switches. Anyway, sorry, let me get back to my main point. I think that the Lekka 60 switches that come with the Wooting have an amazing sound straight out of the box, but you can even go ahead and loop the switches yourself for an even stronger focky sound, if you so desire. Now let's get onto what is my main selling point for the Wooting 60 HE Plus, the performance that it packs within its compact size. As we all know, size doesn't matter, but rather what you can do with that size, and you better not take that out of context. Although the Wooting 60 HE Plus may be small, it does not lack in its performance. The Leica 60 switch, which I described earlier in this video, is in my opinion one of, if not the best switches that you can have for gaming, and this is because of the actuation distance which you can adjust to your liking. On the Leica 60 switches, you can adjust the actuation from 0.1 millimeters to 4 millimeters. This means that at the highest setting of 0.1 millimeters, it is almost like you're not pressing the switch to activate it, and on the 4 millimeter setting, you will have to press the switch all the way down to activate it. Yeah, this is a cool feature, but what exactly should you care about it? Well, since you're able to set the activation point wherever you desire, as someone who plays games at a more competitive level or wants to gain whatever edge you can on your enemies, then you can set the actuation point quite high. For example, my actuation point is at 0.7 millimeters, which I actually use the profile from Optimum Tech that also made a great review on this keyboard that I will link in the description below. The reason that having such a short actuation point is so vital for gaming is that if you're going to press a switch, then you may want it to happen with the smallest amount of delay possible, which is beneficial in gaming as it reduces the input lag and this feature of the Leica 60 switch allows for this. With most switches, their actuation point is usually over the 1mm mark. Therefore, statistically, with the Wooting, you would have a quicker input time than anyone else in your lobbies as long as they don't have a Wooting keyboard themselves, or are also using magnetic switches. The other key selling feature of this keyboard will be the Rapid Trigger. Rapid Trigger is a technology where you can reactivate a switch without needing to go above and below the actuation point to enable it. This is not possible on a normal switch, you can only do it with a switch that has a Hall Effect sensor due to how it works. On screen you can see a video from Wooting which clearly demonstrates how the Rapid Trigger works and does a much better job of explaining it to you than I can do. This feature is a game changer for some of you out there, especially in games where you are constantly making quick movements such as quickly strafing left and right 
or an osu, which would require a very precise movement of your fingers which is extremely difficult to do on a standard switch. However, on the Wooting, all you have to do is enable Rack Trigger and then you are able to do this effortlessly which can be a serious game changer. This is one of the main reasons that people buy this keyboard and why many of the pros in a variety of games also decide to use the Wooting over other keyboards. There is a great video from the YouTuber Teclus which compares four other keyboards with the Wooting that also have the Rapid Trigger functionality. And in the end, the Wooting comes on top once again. I will leave a link to that video in my description if you are interested to watch it. One of the extra features that also comes with the Wooting is the Tachyon mode which promises to reduce the input delay from you pressing the switch to seeing the action on your screen from around 2 milliseconds to 1 millisecond which again is a really great feature to reduce input delay. It will lower the RGB brightness and disable effects but at least the RGB is still there whereas with some other keyboards they disable the RGB completely to achieve a similar result. Another great feature is the mod tap feature which allows you to bind different inputs whether you tap or hold on a key. I like using this to use the four keys at the bottom right of my keyboard as my arrow keys if I tap them which is extremely useful for many things such as when I need to scroll frame by frame in my editing software or if I need to scroll between characters in my text. It makes it so that you don't lose out on the functionality of some of the key inputs that you may require. Then on the more gimmicky side of things there is the ability for the switches to act as a controller input and send an analog signal to the computer. For example if you are playing something such as a story game which may be better experienced on a controller then you won't miss out on that experience as the whole effect switches allow for a percentage of the keyboard press to be sent. So if you are playing a racing game you can have it so that the W key is your acceleration key however rather than it just being on or off it can go from 0 to 100% to simulate the feeling of using a controller. This is not a feature that I have personally used myself however I have a friend which has been using it for GTA 5 and it seems to work quite well. And now finally, let's talk about the value of this keyboard and whether it is actually worth the investment. At a non-discounted price, the keyboard will set you back 163 Great British Pounds or 174 US Dollars or 189.99 Euros. Do I think it's worth this price? To be completely honest, yes, it is. With all the features that it comes with, it is hard to find a similar priced keyboard which offers just as much and at the quality that the Wooting has. The quality of the keyboard and the keycaps is pretty good for the price. It could be better, but then Wooting would have to likely charge more. But for the price, it is a great quality keyboard and does not feel cheap at all. Also, I've noticed that there is basically no rattle with the keys, which is something that I've seen so many other keyboards have an issue with. Another important note is that this keyboard is very moddable for those of you like me who like to tinker and change things up. The switches are hot swappable and the PCB is a standard 60% form factor so it can fit in many popular cases such as the Tofu 60. You could also buy just the module and switches from Rooting and then get the rest of the parts you would like. One mod I have made to mine is to manually hand lube all of the switches and it really takes the sound to another level and I highly recommend it. The keyboard even boasts as a fashion symbol with its unique take control strap which I'm sure you would have noticed. And hey, tell me what other keyboard could run up and down the Paris catwalk. Yeah, you can't think of any, can you? For the moment, my 60HE Plus is just the standard you can get from their website. However, I do plan on buying the blue aluminium case as soon as I can and get a nice set of blue gradient keycaps. Please do let me know if you have any suggestions for some good keycaps in the comments down below. If I have not sold you on buying the Wooting, then go ahead and watch some of the other videos of which there are a vast amount that are also promoting this keyboard as one of the best gaming keyboards for the price and I am sure you'll be convinced to add this keyboard to your setup. I love this keyboard and I love everything it can do but you know what I love more is the support from the subscribers of the channel which I appreciate so much. I would love to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of this year and with your help you can help me achieve this goal. I promise you won't regret it and I strive to bring you high quality content with consistency. Anyway enough of that, thank you for watching this video and have a great rest of your day.